Hey, how's it going? So initially I wasn't actually going to make a video here in Bowen because I didn't think there was going to be that much to see or do. But after getting here yesterday and having a look around, I am absolutely blown away. This has got to be one of the most underrated places I've been to in Australia so far. You know what? I think it is the most underrated place I've been to in Australia so far. There isn't enough said about this place and I'm going to change that today. Bowen sits right at the top of the edge of the Whit Sundays, and you can really feel that when you're here. Like, the beaches are amazing, the water is just a ridiculous shade of blue you can't even imagine. And if that's a taste of the Whit Sundays, I cannot wait to get there next week aboard the racing boat which I'm going on and you have got to make sure you're subscribed to this channel to see that video when it drops. It's going to be an insane experience and one I can't wait to share with you as well. I just got back from doing the rotary lookout which you can see just over there behind me and the walk up to there only takes like 10 or 15 minutes. It's a bit steep but it's really definitely manageable for anybody and the views from the top there are just absolutely insane. Bowen has got this like crazy sandy rocky coastline and I absolutely love a rocky coastline so it's probably why I like this place so much but just beyond that is the most amazing blue water you've ever seen. There's palm trees everywhere. It feels so tropical. I just don't know why people don't talk more about Bowen because it's a lovely place. For the beach you can see just behind me is Horseshoe Bay Beach. It is a lovely beach with a nice rocky coastline as well. There is an interestingly shaped rock here and um, you could be the judge of whatever you think that looks like. But uh, yeah, when you go up to the lookout point there you can see just over this beach and also around to I think Rose Bay. And both of these locations are fantastic places to go snorkeling and do some diving. When I turned up here there were people actually already diving here. And apparently on the left hand side of Rose Bay there's some lovely coral and colourful fish to go and check out. So if you love snorkeling you're going to love it here as well. We also went to the Flagstaff's lookout yesterday which was just insane. I'm going to go back there to get some shots for you but you just look out over the water you can see a couple of islands out there. It just it's just amazing. I didn't expect to see all these insane views around here. The town itself is also pretty quiet and very well spread out so it doesn't feel like you know you're all crammed in and it doesn't feel so busy. So some murals painted and the water tanks on the top of the town. Go and check that out as well. But anyway I'm going to carry on messing about on these rocks here because I do love a good clamber on some rocks. I also got a new camera the other day. I got a DJI Osmo Action so it's waterproof. I can go underwater mainly in preparation for the Whit Sundays because there's going to be some insane stuff to see under there. I'm going to give it a little test run today see if you can tell which footage is which and just enjoy the rest of the show. Let's go. This is Flagstaff Hill Lookout. It's super easy to get to. It's just like a five minute drive from the middle of the town. You don't have to do any walking when you get here. But if you want to, you can actually. There's just a little path over there. You can walk down and get a slightly better view. There's a bench down there as well. So you can sit and take it in. But yeah, the views here are just absolutely jaw dropping. Behind me, we've got two little islands. The smaller of the two is North Head Island and the larger of the two is Stone Island. Now I did actually call them something else when I came. I called them the Sundays, which sounds similar to the Whit Sundays, but I'm pretty sure you get the gist of it. Also, when you come to leave, you get an absolutely amazing view as you drive off around the corner. You can see the full coastline and it's just insane. Come and check it out. Something else you can do, come down here and take a walk down Bowen Jetty. Now it's super long and it's a good place to actually do a little bit of turtle spotting. Now I'm not sure if I'm going to see any, but I'm going to keep my eyes out and um, see if we find any. Let's go. Okay, made it to the end of the jetty. It's only like five, ten minute walk, not too bad. Just over here is actually such a cool looking boat. Let me show you. Just come out here now to Sunset Point, it's sort of towards the top end of the town and you just see the sun setting now behind the mountains, it's absolutely surreal. It's like a beach but on either side there's water, it's just such a cool vibe, come check it out. Alright, next up is going to be the walk to Mother Bedrock. Now we're doing this from the Rose Bay side. It does actually say like this track is for experienced bush walkers only. And I've walked past a bush or two in my time, so I think I'm qualified. And for some reason, I always seem to go out to do these hikes in the middle of the day when the sun is at its most intense. So got a bottle full of water. Let's hope we make it. Ooh, 
made it to the top, even for an experienced bushwalker like myself. That was pretty tough, I guess, maybe just because it's the uh, midday sun. Look at the sweat running off my head. Anyway, the views from the top here are magical. This big rock behind me, look at it, just being propped up here by this little one. Hope that doesn't move. <laughs> Okay, time to cool off now after that uh, bit of a walk. Come down here to Rose Bay, which is just around the corner from where the hike starts. And as you can see, it is another gorgeous little bay here in Bowen. Water here is super clear and blue. And actually the sand has kind of, I don't know, got some something in it that glistens. I don't know if it's something metallic or something, but it looks really cool. And the beach is really nice. To the back of the beach, there is actually a big hotel. And I guess for the people staying at the hotel, they've got a really nice view. For the people on the beach, maybe not so much, but there are some palm trees at the back as well, which do make things that little bit nicer. And you can actually do a little bit of snorkeling from here on the left-hand side. There's a bit of a reef going on there. So if you come here, maybe bring your snorkel equipment. And yeah, I'm just gonna chill here for a bit, recoup, and then uh, just carry on seeing what's happening in Bowen. Funnily enough, the last thing that I recommend you do in Bowen is generally the only thing that people do when they come here, which is come and see the big mango. You can also get some freshly made mango sorbet because they grow mangoes here. And just come and check it out. Get a nice picture for Instagram and then make this your final stop as you head out to Bowen. So I hope you've enjoyed watching this video and seeing just what is going on in Bowen. It has really surprised me. I've had such a nice time here. The beaches have been amazing. Just the whole landscape and the views here are just absolutely insane. Definitely spend a few days here if you can and check out some of the things that I have shown you in this video. So if you have enjoyed watching it, make sure to leave a like down below and subscribe to Tip State with all of my future content. The next video is gonna be absolutely insane. I am sailing an X race boat around the Whitsunday Islands it's going to be unreal. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.